Welcome to Morning Prayer and Worship. So glad that you're here on this Wednesday of Ordinary Time, proper three in the church calendar. If you have a prayer request, as always, you can go to benwarbmusic.com slash prayer request. We'd love to pray for you. Would you consider becoming a monthly supporter of Morning Prayer and Worship? BenWarmusic.com slash donate. We need you and we thank you. And oh Lord, you're beautiful. Your face is all I see. And when your eyes are on this child, your grace abounds to me. Oh Lord, please light the fire. That once burned bright and clear Replace the lamp of my first love That burns with holy fear I want to take your word Shine it all around First help me just to live it, Lord And when I'm doing well Help me to never seek a crown For my reward is giving glory to you Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed, by what we have done and by what we have left undone, by what we have said and by what we have left unsaid. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us, that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways. To the glory of your name. Amen. I want to take your word and shine it all around. First help me just to live it, Lord. And when I'm doing well, help me to never seek a crown. For my reward is giving glory to you. Oh Lord, you're beautiful. Your face is all I seek. And when your eyes are on this child, your grace abounds to me. Psalm 38. O Lord, do not rebuke me in your anger. Do not punish me in your wrath, for your arrows have already pierced me, and your hand presses hard upon me. There is no health in my flesh. Because of your indignation, there is no soundness in my body because of my sin. For my iniquities overwhelm me. Like a heavy burden, they are too much for me to bear. My wounds stink and fester by reason of my foolishness. 
I am utterly bowed down and prostrate. I go about in mourning all the day long. My loins are filled with searing pain. There is no health in my body. I am utterly numb and crushed. I wail because of the groaning of my heart. O Lord, you know all my desires. and My sighing is not hidden from you. My heart is pounding, my strength has failed me, and the brightness of my eyes is gone from me. My friends and companions draw back from my affliction. My neighbors stand afar off. Those who seek after my life lay snares for me. Those who strive to hurt me speak of my ruin and plot treachery all the day long. But I am like the deaf who do not hear, like those who are mute and do not open their mouth. I have become like one who does not hear and from whose mouth comes no defense. For in you, O Lord, have I fixed my hope. You will answer me, O Lord my God. For I said, do not let them rejoice at my expense. Those who gloat over me when my foot slips. Truly, I am on the verge of falling, and my pain is always with me. I will confess my iniquity and be sorry for my sin. Those who are my enemies without cause are mighty. And many in number are those who wrongfully hate me. Those who repay evil for good slander me, because I follow the course that is right. O Lord, do not forsake me. Be not far from me, O my God. Make haste to help me, O Lord of my salvation. Be not far from me, be not far from me, be not far from me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Amen. Our gospel reading. It's from the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 12, 43 through 50. Jesus answered the scribes and the Pharisees, When the unclean spirit has gone out of a person, it wanders through waterless regions looking for a resting place, but it finds none. Then it says, I will return to my house from which I came, and when it comes, it finds it empty, swept, and put in order. Then it goes and brings along seven other spirits more evil than itself, and they enter and live there. And the last state of that person is worse than the first. So will it be also with this evil generation. While he was still speaking to the crowds, his mother and his brothers were standing outside, wanting to speak to him. Someone told him, Look, your mother and your brothers are standing outside, wanting to speak to you. But to the one who had told him this, Jesus replied, Who is my mother and who are my brothers? And pointing to his disciples, he said, Here are my mother and my brothers. For whoever does the will of my Father in heaven is my brother and sister and mother. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, He rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Christian Church, 
the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Our collect of the day, the prayer we pray together collectively, this Wednesday of Ordinary Time, proper three in the church calendar. Almighty and everlasting God, you have given to us your servants grace by the confession of a true faith to acknowledge the glory of the eternal trinity and in the power of your divine majesty to worship the unity. Keep us steadfast in this faith and worship and bring us at last to see you in your one and eternal glory, O Father, who with the Son and the Holy Spirit live and reign, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please light the fire That once burned bright and clear Replace the lamp of my first love That burns with holy fear Let's take a few moments and be before the Lord. Pray specifically and by name for those in your life. Lay your burdens down. Just sit in silence in His presence. Whatever the Lord prompts you to do today, whatever your heart is in need of, just take this time now. for this day, Lord, that you woke us up, that we are here, that we belong to you, and you belong to us. Just thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you for this day. May we walk in thankfulness and gratefulness today. In the name of Jesus, amen. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen and amen. Go in the peace and the power and the presence of the Holy Spirit. Walk with a grateful heart for all that He has done, all that He is doing, and all that He is going to do. Morning Prayer and Worship is a production of Steady Stream Ministries. Thank you for your support. Benwardmusic.com slash donate. We need you and we thank you.